Welcome to this video. Today I want to talk to you about five things that you shouldn't consume if you've got IBS and are on the low FODMAP diet. The first thing is chewing gum. Now, apart from the fact that this is just a habit, if you do chew gum, there is no goodness that comes from it whatsoever. It's mainly made of chemicals and often contains high FODMAP ingredients. But apart from that, the main problem is that when you chew gum, you actually gulp down air, maybe in small amounts, but that starts to accumulate in the gut. And as you know, one of our problems is gas in the intestinal tract. So we don't want to introduce any more than necessary. And that leads me on to the second thing, which is carbonated drinks. I've mentioned these before. How do they get the carbonation into the drinks? They introduce gas, and those bubbles are gas. When you drink it, you're ingesting those gas bubbles. And again, that's going to cause havoc with your digestive system. So apart from any sugars or chemicals that might be in those drinks, the carbonation itself is going to cause you problems. The third thing that you shouldn't be consuming is processed foods. As much as possible, stay away from those central aisles of the supermarket, but you're allowed to have a quick run down those aisles just to get things like salt, sugar, flour, in your case, be a gluten-free flour. But those items only contain food items. In the case of things like sugar and salt, only one ingredient. So they're all right, but everything else leave where it is. And that's mainly because there are just too many additives and chemicals in those processed foods. If you read the ingredients list and see anything at all that you don't recognize as food, put it back. And in particular, gluten-free processed foods are the worst culprits because in order to make the food palatable, look good, and stay together, they have to add a lot of different chemicals to it. And never forget that gluten-free does not equate to low FODMAP. Many gluten-free processed foods contain high FODMAP ingredients. So don't make that mistake. The fourth thing that I want to talk about is soya products. On the whole, we should stay away from them. In particular, if they're made from the whole soya bean. Now, there's a couple of exceptions to this. Actually, there's three exceptions. One of them is soya sauce that has only small amounts of wheat and anything else that could be a problem in there, but it has been fermented and that reduces the impact of the soya and you'd never have too much of it anyway. The second soya product that we can have, um, well, there's the two, tofu and tempa. Now we can have a cup of those and that's because in the process of making the tofu, there's a lot of liquids that are pressed out of the product and a lot of the FODMAPs go out into those liquids and we're left with a tofu that we can consume, of course, in limited amounts. And the third item that contains soy that we can have is anything made with a soya protein. And that you might often see as an ingredient in a processed food, which you're supposed to stay away from anyway. But soya protein is protein. And FODMAPs are carbohydrates, and our problem is with carbohydrates, not protein. So if you were able to find a soya milk that was made purely from the soya protein, that would be acceptable. But the majority of soya milks are made from the whole bean, so you would have to stay away from that. And number five on the list are fiber supplements. Unfortunately, doctors still seem to give those out in, with great glee and abundance. Fiber supplements will hurt us. We all have a fine line with fiber that we shouldn't pass over. We need fiber, but too much will cause bloating and gas. In other words, IBS symptoms. So when you get a fiber supplement, that's really overdoing it, exaggerating the whole thing and will hurt. So make sure that you get your fiber needs through food, in particular through vegetables and some good grains, low FODMAP grains. 
All right, that's my five things for you to avoid. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for watching and goodbye.